I'm gonna show you how to make clover leaf rolls. These are the softest, airiest rolls. Check this out. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. We are making clover leaf rolls. These are made with milk bread, which is super fluffy and it's a really easy dough to get. These are perfect for dinner parties, holidays, and just any meal, cause they're really simple to make. And I'm craving some fluffy rolls, so let's get started. Plus, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you like recipes that work. In the bowl of a stand mixer, we're gonna add three tablespoons of very warm water. I like to heat it up a little extra so that it can cool down to about 110 degrees Fahrenheit when it hits the bowl. Add two and a quarter teaspoons or one packet of active dry yeast. Whisk that together, then let it sit uncovered for seven minutes until the yeast is foamy on top. Once you see that foamy top, that means the yeast is working and it's safe to continue. Next, add one cup of warm, low-fat milk, followed by five tablespoons of very soft or melted butter. Add one large room temperature egg, also three tablespoons of granulated sugar and a teaspoon of salt. Whisk that all together until it's well blended. Don't worry if you still see bits of butter in the mixture, they will blend in after you've added the flour. Gradually whisk in the first two cups of flour. Once that's incorporated, switch to the dough hook attachment and add the remaining one and a half cups of flour, adding it in thirds and letting it incorporate with each addition. Anytime you're using the dough hook attachment, you always want to be on speed two with a stand mixer. Also, scrape down the bowl as needed to make sure all of the flour is getting well incorporated. Once all of the flour is in, check the dough consistency. It should feel sticky to the touch, but should not stick to clean and dry fingertips. If it is sticking to your hands, add more flour one tablespoon at a time. Also, keep in mind the dough will get a little less sticky as it needs, so make sure you don't add too much flour. Continue to knead with that dough hook attachment for 10 minutes on speed two, or you can transfer it to a countertop and knead by hand. When the dough is ready, it should pull away from the sides of the bowl and it should feel smooth and elastic. Transfer the dough to a large oiled bowl and turn to coat in oil. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap and let the dough rise in a warm room between 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour to an hour and a half or until the dough is doubled in volume. I like to proof my dough in the microwave. Place a damp towel in there on high heat for one minute to create steam. Then put your dough bowl inside and just let it sit there with the microwave off. All right, an hour later, our dough has risen beautifully and it's time to form the rolls. I'm using a standard 12 count cupcake or muffin tin. Butter the pan and set it aside. Now for the fun part, transfer your dough onto a clean and dry work surface. On a smooth surface like a countertop, you shouldn't need any additional flour at this point. Pat the dough into a rectangle shape. This will make it easier to divide the dough. You'll want to divide the dough into 12 even pieces. Start by cutting it in half. Now cut each of those pieces in half again. Lastly, cut each of those into thirds. When you're done, you should have 12 even pieces. And they don't have to be perfect, I usually just eyeball it. All right, now because these are called clover leaf rolls, each of them has three leaves. So cut each piece of dough into thirds one more time. Cup your hand over each of the small pieces and roll over your work surface to form a ball. Once your mini dough balls are formed, you're gonna transfer them to the buttered cupcake pan. 
This dough is so soft and easy to work with, which makes this process really easy and even a little bit therapeutic. Place three little balls of dough into one muffin cup and repeat with the remaining dough until you have all 12 muffin cups filled. Oil a sheet of plastic wrap and place the oiled side loosely over the rolls. This will help keep the plastic wrap from sticking to the dough. Now let it rise in a warm place for about 30 to 45 minutes or until the dough is puffed and about doubled in size. Meanwhile, preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit with a rack in the center of the oven. Once the rolls have risen, brush the tops with two tablespoons of melted butter. Then bake in the preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 13 to 15 minutes. The rolls will puff quite a bit in the oven and the tops will turn golden brown when they're done. <laughs> All right, once they are hot, just as soon as they come out of the oven, you wanna brush them with some more melted butter and that just gives them a beautiful glow. And you wanna sprinkle them with salt and the butter helps the salt to stick. So you wanna sprinkle on that salt pretty much right away before the butter has had a chance to dry. I'm telling you, if you want your kitchen to smell like a bakery, make these clover leaf rolls. All right, some sprinkle of salt. And I like using your kosher salt because then you can see the little flakes of salt. Not a lot, just a little bit. <laughs> okay, and then I like to transfer them to a rack to cool slightly. These are so good when they're warm, but I do like to put them on a rack to cool them just a little bit. So just carefully pop them out and look at that, look at that edge, buttery, so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, this also prevents them from steaming up in that cup. And these are the dinner rolls that seriously impress everybody. All right, these are still Pretty steaming hot, but you know me. <laughs> like, get in my belly. <laughs> I want to roll. I'm just gonna have one. So we're gonna do this taste test. All right. And what I love, love about these rolls is that you can pull them apart and the layers between the little balls of dough are so irresistible. Check this out. Here we go. Oh yeah, still steaming. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's like. It's like a cloud. This, I mean, it's a milk bread base, which is super fluffy, buttery, tender. It's like melt in your mouth delicious. Look at that, you see the layers? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> of all of our breads, I think this one wins for the softest. Oh, yummy yum. Okay, and I gotta put a little butter on this. <laughs> not like there's not enough butter in it already. <laughs> Oh, ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. As soon as my little girl finds out I've made these, she's gonna be running to the kitchen because she loves this bread. Okay, here we go. Oh. Mm -hmm. This bread is so satisfying. I just wanna keep eating it. <laughs> oh, and that little bit of salt on top as just the perfect contrast of flavor. It's really good, don't skip that. And you can kind of sense the little bit of sweetness in this bread, which, which is just right. Who can resist? <laughs> A homemade dinner roll, and especially these clover leaf dinner rolls. So good. Hope you guys love this video. Make sure you try this and let me know when you do. And we'll see you in our next video.